Hello, my name is Craig Brownley, Operations Manager here at CFA Headquarters. Uh, today we're going to have a look at CFA's new heavy pumpers. These trucks have been built out of the CFA 350 Firefighter Growth Program. So as part of the uh, overall design and, and reviewing uh, CFA's current heavy pumpers, we did a lot of consultation with uh, our firefighters in terms of how we could make improvements to our existing fleet uh, to ensure that we had the best technology and the most uh, efficient workflow possible as we go through this design. So we think we've got a really good outcome of that and that's due to the, the overwhelming support that we've had from across the state and feedback we received from firefighters. So as uh, the operations manager in charge of this program, I have to work with a lot of different departments in, the, in CFA to ensure we get the, the fire truck into service. So that includes our procurement department in terms of uh, obtaining the equipment and getting it uh, built into the vehicle design, as well as our training department about development and and then into the deployment of the vehicles. In this program we're doing, uh, it's in two phases. One is a uh, train the trainer, so we go out with our subject matter experts to the fire station for a train the trainer, and then they subsequently train the firefighters on each of the, the shifts in the station in the truck and how it works. So we think some of the, the things that people will be impressed with the truck is one is the new uh, road rescue support equipment that's been put onto these vehicles. So it's a new area that CFA is going into for to support the community at car accidents as well as EMR and the inclusion of battery technology. So this vehicle is the first uh, vehicle that, that heavily goes into the use of batteries in replacement of uh, petrol powered equipment. I'm going to take you through now and have a look at the specifications of these trucks. The first thing people notice when they see the, uh, the new pumper is the solid red colour locker doors. Uh, the choice in going to these doors was based out of research from Europe which indicates that from a public perception uh, that the solid red colours give better visibility to fire trucks. So in terms of uh, why we've chosen that and the solid red, red colour, uh, we're uh, hoping that it will give better safety to our firefighters as well as the colouring that's been selected, which is the brightest available uh, reflective material. So at night time operations, it improves safety to CFA firefighters. So some of the changes that we've made uh, to the pumper include uh, brand new uh, BA seats for the cabin. So we've moved from two uh, seats to three internal seats and they've moved to a, a vinyl. Uh, the vinyl uh, seating is to improve cleanliness and ensuring that we can wipe down and keep the uh, interior of the truck as clean as possible. Uh, in, as well as that, we've also included a, a small drinks fridge under the third middle seat. Which, uh, which gives uh, the firefighters uh, access to cool drinking water on those hot occasions that we need it. One of the improvements we've made is the, uh, the 90 metre hose reel that's been uh, put onto this truck. Uh, this provides better ergonomics, lower friction in removal and uh, better ability for firefighters to lay the hose back onto the reel. The next, the next change we've made is the addition of a, uh, a small locker at the front of the appliance which includes uh, fuse removal equipment and cool chairs for firefighter rehabilitation. So additional resources are now uh, included in this truck as standard stowage. Uh, the design of the near side one locker has been significantly altered as well uh, in terms of better uh, workflow for firefighters as well as reposition the equipment to include uh, EMR equipment, a standard layout and ability for firefighters to access that. The inclusion of the BA Pentagraph allows us to lift the equipment high in the vehicle uh, but also to main, maintain ergonomics in, in access for firefighters. So other equipment we've included as standard storage on this, uh, this truck is uh, PFDs or personal flotation devices and attack and lay packs. Uh, for use in high-rise and uh, large industrial buildings. What we've been able to do in the redesign of the heavy pumper is to have a look at our stowage and deployment arrangements for our 38 mil hose. Uh, so what we've included onto uh, uh, this truck, but we're also going to be rolling out across the fleet, is the Cleveland Lay system. So that will go across all of our heavy pumpers and our medium pumpers uh, in the next uh, 12 months or so. Uh, this ability gives a lot better uh, ergonomics and manoeuvrability to firefighters in the, in the structural uh, environment, including in tight, confined spaces like stairwells. We've also had a look at our, our branches, uh, and we're moving to a system for firefighters to readily uh, understand or know what uh, pressure the, their branch is using when they've got it. So to do that, we've, uh, we've, we're colour coding all of the handles on our, our branches. So blue indicates that it operates at five bar, 
black indicates it operates at seven bar and a purple branch indicates it operates at three bar. This is, a, again, it'll make it uh, consistent for firefighters when they pick up a branch that they know exactly what pressure that it needs to flow at. We've also included the water level gauge for the tank on the side of the appliance as well. Uh, generally, this is uh, provided the rear and is only visible by the pump operator. Uh, on the heavy pumper uh, 2017, it's on the side to give better visibility to all firefighters on the fire ground. There's been a few uh, modifications in terms of the pump panel and its layout. Uh, firstly, uh, we've worked in terms of the colouring and there's some slight changes to the colouring and this is to align uh, this truck uh, to colours currently in use within MFB. So for interoperability, uh, we've aligned the colour colouring system of our panel. We've also included the uh, a, a press uh, squat mode to allow the, the truck to squat to a lower height to allow access to the uh, ladder and suction hose when the pump's not engaged. We've also improved the uh, governor arrangement and feedback we received from the field is that the, uh, the previous push button governor system was very uh, difficult to operate and we've, we've uh, changed that to a rotary uh, governor control which provides better dexterity and ability to adjust pump pressures uh, by the firefighter. A firefighter workflow has also been thought about in, uh, in the design of this pumper. Uh, so we've included the, the hydrant uh, at the rear of the appliance. This allows uh, firefighters to come around, collect the hydrant, hose and the collector and go directly to the, the hydrant to get water into the truck as quickly and as efficiently as possible. In the redesign of this fire truck, we've also been able to look at some of the equipment that we provide and we've been able to source a new ground monitor that actually increases safety for firefighters. If the monitor becomes unstable on the fire ground, it will automatically shut itself off, uh, which improves safety for all firefighters. So in this locker where we see the most significant changes on, uh, on this truck, uh, the first thing that we've included is uh, battery operated hydraulic tools. Uh, these trucks have been set up for CFA's uh, progression into road rescue support activities, um, which will see uh, primary access equipment provided for primary access to people involved in car accidents. So the, the hydraulic tools, all battery operated, have been included. So we've also looked at uh, what's occurring uh, across the fire industry and there's a, a significant increase in the use of battery tools. Uh, so we've uh, included that in this appliance with the, uh, the equipping of uh, battery lighting. This gives the ability to remove generators, electrical leads and fuels from the appliance. Uh, these lighting systems can operate up to 24 hours and provide LED lighting to light up the scenes of car accidents, uh, house fires and the like. Uh, very efficient, very bright uh, and reduces a lot of those uh, trip hazards and fuel hazards that we've had previously. So other areas where we see battery technology coming into the fire service is within our positive pressure fans. Uh, in, in the past, our positive pressure fans have been run off uh, petrol powered uh, motors where this has moved into that, that battery power. That provides the advantage of not producing carbon monoxide which we're pumping into a building. Um, this is a very efficient fan and has up to a 40 minute uh, run time off its, uh, off its batteries and it can also be run off 240 volt if required. To support all the batteries uh, on the vehicle, we've also included spares uh, and we have a, a robust battery management process in place with the fire stations to ensure that we have enough batteries available to meet our operational needs. So one of the other areas where we see a increase in, uh, in responses to is uh, children locked in cars. To help with that, we've included the Big Easy Vehicle Access Kit, which allows uh, firefighters to uh, uh, get into vehicles without uh, damaging windows and glass. So lighting has also been carefully considered on this pumper as well. And we've uh, moved to a LED lighting system which provides a wide coverage for nighttime operations. As well as that, uh, we've incorporated the lighting into each of the locker doors. So as soon as you open any of the lockers, a strip light at the top will light up as well as lighting down each of the sides. And that provides excellent lighting for all of the equipment stayed within each of the lockers. There's also been some great research done by our team in driving uh, that has indicated that by using a consistent height between our emergency lights on the front of the vehicle, that we can line them up with the mirrors uh, within different vehicles. So from sedans to four-wheel drives, by positioning these lights as they are, it allows us to get 
uh, the emergency lights visible within most uh, cars on the road, either wing mirror or rear vision mirror. Uh, and that, is, uh, that provides the advantage of being visible uh, to vehicles uh, as we go to emergency responses. Hi, I'm Matthew Burke, stationed here at Altham CFA. I've uh, been a part of the new heavy pumper rollout. Uh, we've been training on it quite heavily in the past three weeks approximately since it's been online. Uh, my favourite things about the truck have probably been the, uh, the new pump governor layout on it, the ease of use of it, um, the stowage on the truck across the, the layout of the whole truck, um, where everything's been placed, has been thought about um, and specifically designed for it, um, and also our new gear with our hydraulic uh, battery operated equipment as well has been excellent to use.